Well, imagine being able to go out any time of the day or night and get a dozen farm fresh straight from the hen eggs and for a nickel. Well, some in Warren Township of a certain age may remember visiting the egg o mat News 12's Brian Donahue waded through history and the weeds to find it. I've come to the farthest corner of the Department of Public Works yard in Warren Township to lay eyes on a decrepit hulk that tells a unique story about New Jersey and I'd venture to say about America. It's called, or was called, the Eggomat, a fresh egg vending machine. You could put in a nickel and take home a dozen. I don't even want to get too close because I feel like it could collapse and I'd be crushed by a collapsing Eggomat. I'd be some way to go, huh? It's now rotting away here a quarter mile from where it stood on the poultry farm owned by Camilo and Alice Epstein. The Epsteins had fled Austria in 1938 after the Nazi takeover. They were part of a considerable number of Jewish farmers who established communities across New Jersey in the first half of the 20th century. Camilo built the egg o mat so customers could buy eggs in off hours. It stood on the side of the road for years, even after they moved away. But as the land was sold and this strip mall rose up on the old farm and Warren went from rural to suburban, the Eggo mat landed here. But I actually don't have memories of like seeing it myself. The Eggo mat story was recently brought to life in the Rutgers University Press anthology New Jersey Fan Club, which includes a cartoon about it by artist Lisa Eisenberg. It was very quintessentially Jersey to me as this like sort of strange thing that's hiding in plain sight. <laughs> Eisenberg grew up in Maplewood. Her parents moved her family to Warren in 1994 when she was in grade school. Missing Maplewood, she abhorred her family's relatively sleepy new home. But by high school, the story of the egg mat had captured her imagination. And I was like, oh, this is this cool thing that was in Warren, like the, my town that has nothing interesting in it. It prompted her to learn more about the town, the people who had lived there, and she discovered the Epsteins in their pre egomat days had once lived in the same Newark, Weequake neighborhood as their own grandparents, who were also Jewish refugees from Europe. That was fascinating to me, um, that it was... You know, they had set up shop in my town in this way that really inspired me, and then come to find out in a certain way they're my family and their family's paths have crossed. And so the Egomat story became entwined with her own, and maybe yours. Now it stands, barely, as a symbol of immigrant drive and ingenuity, of refugees' search for peace and freedom, and New Jersey's fading rural past. And for one former bored suburban kid, a reminder, as she puts it in the final frame of her comic, that there are stories everywhere. Sometimes you just have to look a little harder for them. I'm Brian Donahue. This is positively New Jersey. And the town's historic sites committee is moving forward with a plan to restore the Eggo Mat and put it in the Wagner Farm Arboretum.